Chapter 4 Editing a Word Document In the past, typewriters were used to type documents. The text was typed directly on paper which made it difficult to edit or correct mistakes. Word processor software allows the user to edit a document. Editing means making changes in a document. Cut, copy, paste, undo, redo and select all are the important editing options available in Word. Opening a saved document. Word allows you to open an older document if it has been saved. It can be opened and edited as and when required. 1. Click on File Click on Open. 2. Click on Browse and select the document and click on Open. 3. The document can now be edited. Select a word. To make changes in the document, you have to select the text. Hence, we shall first learn how to select the text. Double click the word to select it. Or click on the left mouse button and drag through the word to select it. Select a line. Press and hold the control key and click the left mouse button anywhere on the line to select. Select a large area of text. Click and hold the left mouse button at the starting point of the text. Now, drag it horizontally to select a line or vertically to select a large area of text. Select all the text. Click anywhere in the document. On the Home tab, click on the Select button in the Editing group and choose the Select All option or press Ctrl plus A on the keyboard. To select the text, click anywhere on the selected text to deselect. Insert text. To insert any word or sentence within the text you have already typed, position the cursor where you want to insert the new text and click Now Start Typing. The use of the insert key on the keyboard also helps to insert text. Delete text. Delete command helps to correct the typing mistakes. Move the cursor before the first letter to be deleted. Press the backspace key as often as you need to until all the wrong text is deleted. You can also select the portion to be deleted and then press the delete key. The delete key, too, can be used for deleting text. Note, the backspace key deletes the text to the left of the cursor while the delete key deletes the text to the right of the cursor. Move or cut text. Cut is used to move the text from one position in a document to another using the cut paste command. 1. Select the text. 2. On the home tab, click on cut. 3. Position the cursor to where you want to move the text. 4. Click on paste. Copy text. Copy is used to create a duplicate of the selected text. You can copy the text from one position in a document to another using the copy paste command. 1. Select the text. 2. On the home tab, click on copy. 3. Position the cursor to where you want to copy the text. 4. Click on paste. Note, you can also use shortcut keys like Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus X to cut the selected text and Ctrl plus V to paste the text. Undo. Undo helps to reverse any changes accidentally made in the document. To undo the last action performed, click on the Undo button on the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the Undo button to choose a list of actions. Redo. Redo command is used to reverse the action that you have performed using the undo option. It is activated once you undo any action. Paragraph indenting. Paragraph indenting is adding structure to the text. In a new paragraph, you may only want to move the first line. You can either use the horizontal ruler above the working area or press the tab key on the keyboard to indent the paragraph. Insert date and time. In a Word document, you can insert the date and time. It adds the current date and time. 1. Position the cursor in the desired place. 2. On the Insert tab, click on Date and Time in the text group. 3. The Date and Time dialog box will appear. 4. Select a date and time format from the different options and click on OK.